Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, has said, Indeed, he who recites salat to root upon me the most will be the closest to me on the day of judgment. Subhanallah. Please recite after me. As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah. As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habibullah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habibullah. As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabiullah. As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabiullah. Wa ala ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurullah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurullah. Please all recite the following dua after me. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal. Open the doors of knowledge and wisdom. Open the doors of knowledge and wisdom. For us. For us. And have mercy on us. And have mercy on us. O the one who is the most honorable. O the one who is the most honorable. And glorious. And glorious. In our last clip about the blessed month of Ramadan, we learnt about the things which break the fast. Today we will be talking about Ittikaf, what it is and the rewards of Ittikaf. Subhanallah. Ittikaf is an ancient form of worship which the early, earlier Ummahs would also perform as stated in Surah Baqarah verse 125 of the Holy Quran translation from Qanzul Iman. And we enjoy strictly upon Ibrahim and Ismail alayhim salam to purify well my house of those who go, go around it and those who stay therein for it to come and those who bow down for ruku and prostrate. Subhanallah. The beloved and blessed Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam consistently did itikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan and his blessed wife, the mother of the believers, also kept the sunnah alive by doing itikaf. Mother of, believe, mother of the believers, Sayyidatuna Aisha Siddiqa, radiallahu ta'ala anha, has said, The Holy Prophet, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, would do itikaf in the last ten days of Ramadan until he passed away. Thereafter, his chaste wife used to do itikaf. A person who stays in the masjid with the intention of irtikaf is, is called a muttaqif. Staying in the masjid is a great blessing. A muttaqif is, is so fortunate that he stays in the masjid leaving all his activities in order to gain the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal. Fatawa Alam Gari states, the benefits of itikaf are obvious. When a person does itikaf, he completely devotes himself to worship for the one pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal, giving up all worldly affairs and activities that obstruct him in earning the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal. All of his time is spent in salah, either physically or spiritu spiritually. Because the primary purpose of doing itikaf is to wait for salah was jamaat, and the reward of waiting for salah is like that of offering salah. A muttaqif resembles the angels who do not disobey Allah Azza wa Jal and obey his every command. He resembles those who glorify Allah Azza wa Jal day and night and never get tired of doing so. There is a great reward for the one who does itikaf even for a single day with sincerity in any month of the year besides Ramadan. Persuading us to do itikaf, the prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, has said, whoever does itikaf for the pleasure of Allah Azza wa for one day, Allah shall place three trenches between him and hell, and these trenches will be wider than even the distance between the East and the West. <laughs> Mother of the believers, Sayyidatuna Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated the following fragrant saying of the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam that whoever did it take off with faith in order to earn reward, all of his previous sins will be forgiven. <laughs> Sayyidatuna Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated the following fragrant saying of the Prophet of Rahmah, the intercessor of Ummah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The one doing itikaf for 10 days in Ramadan is like the one who has performed Hajj and Umrah twice. Subhanallah. <laughs> 
Another huge benefit of Itikaf is protection, protection from sins. As long as a Muslim is in the masjid, he abstains from the sins, including the ones he has committed outside the masjid. If he has not done if he ha he had not done it off. it is a special mercy of Allah Azawajal that a mutakif will gain the reward of even such righteous deeds he has he do used to do outside the masjid but not can no longer perform them due to it off. it is it is as if he is still performing them at, and the reward will be recorded for him. For example, if our Islamic brother who used to visit sick people but cannot do the, that due to itikaf, he will still get its reward. Sayyidina, Has Sayyidina Hassan Basri alayhi rahma has noted a muttaqif is granted the reward of performing hajj every day. The literal meaning of itikaf is to keep staying somewhere. In other words, a muttaqif persistently remains in the court of Allah Azawajal to worship Him continuously. Itikaf is the last ten days of Ramadan is Sunnatul Mu'aqada al al -Khifaya. This implies that if any one person from the whole city does Itikaf, it will be sufficient for everyone in the city. But if nobody did it, then everyone is bl blameworthy. If in this Itikaf, it is necessary to get to the masjid with the intention of itikaf before the sun sets on the 20th of Ramadan and stay there until the crescent of Shawwal appears on the 29th or the sun sets on the 30th. May Allah Azawajal accept our efforts and give us the ability to respect this blessed month. Amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.